to have a child. Well, well, she wants you to have a child, and I'm just the necessary participant. I can't, I can't even believe that she, she talked to you about this. Carly offered to carry our baby if I wasn't capable. She wanted to give us, well, actually, she wanted to give you a gift, your own baby, thanks to Carly. I'm, I'm sorry. Don't be. I know she means well. She was actually trying to be selfless. I guess that's her way of trying to help. Yeah. Too, Jason. And how can I help you? I mean, deciding that we should have a baby is pretty typical, Carly. Generous, generous, but a, a little bit more than self-serving. I know her heart's in the right place. Yeah, but it's not fair of her to put you on the spot like that. It's okay. And look, I know that you're grieving for for Jake, so I, I don't even think that we should think about bringing another child into this world. Well, thank you for understanding that. Of course. Look, when, when my baby died and I wanted to adopt, you helped me realize that I needed to grieve in my own time, in my own way, and I knew that you were going to be there for me when I got through it. I knew that you loved me. What you gave me then, I want to give you now. Let's just say for the sake of the argument. How you doing? I'm okay, yeah. How's uh, security working out? Great, you know, I appreciate what you did. How's the kid doing? Uh, Brenda's in heaven. She, she can't see that, you know, Suzanne's working her, but I just feel sorry for the little boy because he's stuck right in the middle. But that's not why I'm here. I'm here to talk to you about Michael. You think Johnny's setting him up? I think Johnny's recruiting him. That's the way I feel, because he can give him things that we can't. He can offer Michael the world, because he doesn't care. Now, I, t I told Michael to stay away from him, okay? But he doesn't want to listen, so we got to do everything we can to make sure Johnny stays away from him. The solution is going to be to just nail Johnny for Brandon's murder, get him off the street. Well, even if he ordered the hit, I doubt he did the job himself. Well, if it's not Johnny, it's somebody he's connected to. But, you know, Johnny's cocky. He'll make a mistake, he always does. <sighs> okay, uh, we've, we've made it very clear to Michael mm -hmm. that we don't want him to be a part of this organization. Right. So if Johnny gives him a chance to prove himself, why wouldn't Michael take it? Michael doesn't get to choose, because I don't want him following in my footsteps. Hey, thanks for coming over. You talked to Dad, didn't you? Yes, I did. Look, Jason, you shouldn't even be thinking about this. You have enough to worry about, okay? But it makes you feel any better. No, Johnny is not trying to frame me for murder. Then why are you so sure about that? I just talked to him. And, and you trust what he had to say? About this? Yeah, I do. Okay, you know how your dad feels about Johnny. They hate each other. I don't feel the same way about Johnny as Dad does. We actually have a lot in common. We both grew up in the business, he understands what it's like, and he's helped me and Abby out a lot in the past few days. What, what, is it, what does that mean? Well, I wanted to question his employees at Vaughn, see if they knew anything about Brandon's murder. Michael, what? I, I what? don't worry, Johnny talked me out of it, so I, 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 didn't, I didn't go. Okay, I, I hope that you can see through this guy, because right now Johnny's recruiting you to work for the Zakars. You gonna let that happen? Okay, good, then stay away from Johnny Zakar. I can't promise you I'll do that. Has he asked you to work for him? No, not yet. He will. You need to turn him down. You know, Jason, I would much rather work for you and Dad. And I have done everything I can to prove it's myself. Not, I told you, it's not about proving yourself. Look, all I'm asking for is a chance, and Johnny seems willing Johnny to give me one. Johnny is using you. Okay, this, the court of men said the same thing about you, and you went to go work yeah, for Dad. I, I made the only choice that I could see at the time. Your situation is completely different. No, no, not really, not at all. Look. Right after Jake's memorial, I was seriously considering going to college like everybody wanted me to. All right, I, I, I was. And then I saw Abby beaten up, and it proved to me once again that the system, it doesn't work. I can't trust it. You do not want to learn this business. 
You know, we shouldn't even be having this conversation. You're still grieving over Jake. Yeah, I gave Jake up to keep him safe. That's what I thought. I didn't want to make the same mistakes I made with you. I didn't want him to go through the same pain that you've been through. So I stayed away from my son. Until the night the phone rang. And I had to watch him die. He never knew me, Michael. That's what this business cost me. So whatever you think this life's gonna be, it's not worth it. Nothing is.